This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 PHT3500 Portable Hardness Tester. The PHT3500 is designed to test metals, primarily steels, cast iron, aluminum alloys, and copper alloys. The technology incorporated is based on the Lieb system of hardness. A carbide ball is spring-loaded and impacts the workpiece with a given force. The rebound velocity is then measured and converted to a hardness value in Lieb, which can be converted automatically and can be read in any number of scales which is selectable prior to testing. Certain workpiece parameters must be met for the Lieb system to work properly. Mass of the work part is critical. A good rule of thumb is the workpiece needs to have mass equal to a minimum of a half inch thick of solid steel where the test will be applied. Parts with mass a little less can be affixed, if possible, to something of larger mass to obtain performance. Should you have workpieces that are not close to such mass, please contact Phase 2 and inquire about our ultrasonic portable hardness testers. The next parameter is surface roughness. Surface roughness should average a 2 micron or 80 micro inch finish or better using the standard impact probe. Optional probes such as the G probe can handle rougher surfaces such as on rough castings. All Phase 2 portable Lieb hardness testers have available the following probes for various applications. The D probe is a general purpose probe and comes standard on all models. All other probes are available as options. The C probe is a reduced energy probe for case hardened layers. The DL probe has a needle type tip in order to test in tight places such as gear teeth. The DC probe is short to fit in small bores or confined areas. The D15 probe has a narrow contact area for use in grooves or recessed areas. The G probe is designed specifically for rough surfaces or castings. It utilizes a 5 mm ball while all other impact devices use a 3 mm ball. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests and obtaining results. To begin, insert the plug of the impact device into the correct socket on the tester. On the left side of the unit, power on the battery switch. Then on the keypad, hit the power button to bring up your test screen. The main interface screen should be displayed. Each indicator on the screen has a purpose. We will go over in detail the meaning of each and how to make any changes if necessary. Let's begin with material setting. Press the MAT button to preset the material you will be testing. Next we go to scale. Select which hardness scale you prefer to read results in. Please note the scales available are related to the material selected and the probe detected. The backlight key is easy to turn on and off. The DIR key is used to change direction of the test probe. Press to toggle through and confirm selection. The delete key is used to delete the latest single measured value. The feed key is for manual paper feeding. All of the parameters we preset can also be activated in the menu. However, the menu will also take you to other areas we will look at. Pressing the menu button will give you a choice of modules to enter. Scrolling to test set, we see a new parameter called average. This allows the user to preset how many tests will be taken before the average is displayed. 
Select your choice with the arrow keys and press enter to confirm or escape to cancel. We will also see tolerance. This is used for setting tolerance limitations, allowing you to preset acceptable ranges for a specific job or part. Back to the main menu, we have print set. This area allows you to choose which data, current or past, in memory to print. Back to the main menu, the Memory Manager module allows you to change the views of memory. It also allows you to browse or delete memory data. Back to the main menu, scroll to System Set. This module allows for system changes such as LCD brightness, time and date stamps, software information, and calibration mode. Taking a test or series of tests is quite simple once your parameters are all set. Load the impact device just like you would load a pump action shotgun. Place the end of the impact device flat on your workpiece and release the load by depressing the top button. You will see the results shown on screen. You'll also notice that the screen is showing you battery life, direction of probe during the test, the scale you are reading in, the material chosen, and the number of tests you have taken. The number will revert back to zero once you have reached the number of tests to take an average. At that time, the average will be shown on screen. Taking a series of quick burst tests are rather simple and easy. The simple USB software will allow you to transfer data to your PC, where you can load, set limitations, print, or save data. Data can also be transferred to an Excel file as well. The PHT3500 portable hardness tester comes included with the following. An AC adapter, an impact brush, a calibrated test block, a module, an impact device, an extra roll of print paper, a USB cable, software, setup guide, an operation manual, and finally a certificate of calibration, all in a plastic molded case. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 PHT3500 Portable Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at 201-933-6300.